Hey what's up guys myself Sopin Srosth and welcome to our YouTube channel so today in this video i will show how you can install the windows 10 on your android phone so before uh, proceeding on let me tell you i already shown you how you can install the windows xp and windows 7 on android phone if you're interested you, you can check it out in my channel so before starting let me uh, tell the uh, theory behind this video so i already uh, flashed a kvm kernel on my android phone so if your smartphone have a KVM kernel, you are able to run a virtual machine with a faster speed possible. So here I am using Asus Zenfone 2. It has a 4 GB of RAM and it has a Intel Quad Core uh, 2.3 GHz processor. So you will need a smartphone with an Intel processor and you will need a Asus Zenfone 2 for this uh, video. So let me tell you everything that I will going to do. So firstly I will install a Arch Linux by using a Linux deploy. So I am going to just install a SSL server for the Arch Linux. I am not going to install a BNC server so I will not able to uh, uh, connect to the desktop of the Arch Linux. I will only need to connect to the root terminal of the Arch Linux. And from there I will install the, I will uh, install and open the QMA manager. Uh, if you are not uh, aware about what is a QMA manager. Let me tell you about the QM Manager. QM Manager is a uh, software that is used on a uh, Linux or on, on a Windows to create a virtual machine. So by using this virtual machine, you can install any Windows uh, version on that uh, virtual machine, and you can open that uh, that virtual machine on your Linux or your uh, so, uh, Windows. So here I install the Arc Linux on my uh, Android phone. So I will install the QM Manager on my Arc Linux, and after that I will open that QM Manager and try to open the Windows 10 using. I try to open the Windows 10 using that QM Manager. So I will do all such things, all those things in my smartphone. So you can install the Windows 10 on your Android phone by using this method. So here I will not show the step by step tutorial. So you you can find uh, find out the text tutorial in the description. So I will also show I will also put down the link for the text tutorial uh, for uh, doing this video on your Android phone. So let me go to that uh, website where you will find a text tutorial. So now guys you can see I want the website where you will find a text tutorial of this video. So I am not going to show you the step by step process uh, through which I just installed a Windows 10 on my Asus Zenfone 2. Uh, but I will put down the link for this website so here you can find all the steps that you will need to follow on for getting the Windows 10 on your Android phone. So here you can see the title of this, uh, this uh, post is the Zenfone 2 running Windows 7 and Windows 8 10 using the KVM. So you will need your uh, smartphone kernel to support KVM. So it will run a virtual machine with a faster speed possible. And if you have a, if you on as Asus Zenfone 2, so you can get the uh, KVM kernel from this website. I will also put down the link for that website. And here you can see this is the uh, KVM kernel uh, available here. So here you can see this is the boot FSD uh, 2.20 KVM. So this is the, uh, this is the KVM for uh, Asus Zenfone 2, which has a 2.20 software uh, version. And here you can see FSD means the full SD. It means that it is the uh, it is the model number uh, the model number of this kernel is JD five five one ML. And if it has boot slash SD, it means the model number of this J, uh, kernel is the JD five five zero. So you have to flash this kernel in the Asus Zenfone to JD JD five five zero and flash this kernel for Asus Zenfone to JD JD five five one ML. So you will here you will find all the uh, version of the KVM kernel. And uh, here you can see this version is uh, based on the 2.19 software version and here you can see it based on 2.20 and uh, when you slide up you will find also uh, the step uh, that will you need to do for flashing a KVM kernel and from here you will also uh, find uh, all the steps that you will need to uh, do after uh, flashing a KVM kernel and you will find all the steps here you can see uh, you will need a, a flash a KVM kernel here you can see and after that you will find every step here you can see and it's a very long process and very complex that's why i did not create a video on this topic i just uh, wanted to show that your smartphone any android, uh, an android phone can run a windows 10 so many of you are thinking that it's really impossible to run a windows 10 on android phone because android is a different operating system and but you can do this by using this method but you need a smartphone uh, with a intel processor and I am using your Asus Zenfone 2. So this video is only for a person having Asus Zenfone 2. So you can try this on your own risk. It has so many risks because you can break your smartphone while flashing any kernel and while doing all the uh, such stuff. So uh, that's why I, do, I did not create a step by step tutorial because it may uh, break your smartphone and I'm not going to be responsible for any of the such activities. So you will find all the steps here. You can see it's a very long process and and I will I will show my smartphone running the Windows 10. So let's go to the my smartphone. So guys, now you can see I am on the my smartphone. Here I opened the Linux deploy to install the Arc Linux. 
and I will only try to install the SSL server for the Arc Linux. And here I already did all the configuration here. I simply click on the start and click on the OK. So I will not try to install the VNC server to connect to the desktop of the Arc Linux. And here I will use VS Connect box to connect to the SSL server of the Arc Linux. Here you can see I am typing my password change me here. And here I will provide the root SSH by typing su and typing the password of my Arc Linux. And here I will provide a directory of my Windows 10. Here you can see I am typing uh, slash uh, mnt slash micro st here you can see and slash w i n dot sh uh, sorry it should be the next line by deleting uh, go to the let me go to the next line and here i will just type the uh, slash mnt slash micro ht slash win dot sh so I just open the QM manager here and I just uh, opened the Windows 10 in the QM manager and I will use the AS Spice free for connecting to the created Windows uh, Windows virtual machine here you can see. So here you can see just uh, uh, simply click on the connect I already did all the configuration here. So you can see the Windows 10 has been started in the my smartphone and uh, as I already told you that you will need a KVM kernel for uh, running this Windows 10 on your Android phone. So you can see I just uh, uh, already flashed a KVM kernel on my Asus Zenfone 2. So I find it very easily because my smartphone has a Win uh, Intel processor. So this video is only for the smartphone having Intel processor and, and I will also put down the link for the text tutorial of this video. So you can find easily uh, to understand all things all thing there. So this video is only for the uh, person who have having Asus Zenfone 2. So please don't try to do this on your smartphone because it can be it can be your smartphone. So you can see it's booting up. It takes some time. So wait for a while. And here I will. Uh, it will open the start menu of the uh, Windows 10. I have to type my Windows 10 password. So wait for a while. It's taking some time. And you will also find that the speed of the Windows 10 is much much uh, faster than the uh, speed of Windows XP and Windows, uh, Windows 7 I, that, uh, that I already shown in my previous video. Here you can see and here I will just simply click on the next to uh, go to the, my uh, desktop of the Windows 10. Now you can see I am on the, my desktop of the Windows 10 and here I can just uh, do all the such things that you are normally doing on the, my uh, your win, uh, Windows 10 on your PC or, or your desktop on your laptop so here you can see I can simply open the paint to uh, show you that it's uh, fully functional Windows 10 or your Android phone and I can do all this as such thing that I normally do on my Windows 10 on my laptop and you can also do this but you will need a Asus phone to do this and uh, here you can see I just uh, uh, you can see the speed is so, uh, pretty much slow but it's much faster than the Windows uh, Windows XP and Windows 7 that I already shown in my previous video so you can see all the apps are working very fine here. I will also open the uh, spider slot here to show you the games is also working here. So let me close all the background apps. But don't think that uh, you can see the Linux deploy in the upside is, uh, is uh, uh, running in the background. So that's why I can uh, run the Windows 10 in the ASS5 free. So you can see I open the uh, Internet Explorer. So guys, now you can see I am opening the micro uh, Microsoft Solitaire collection to play uh, to show you that games are also working in this uh, virtual machine Windows 10. So you can see it's opening up and it takes some time and it's little much uh, laggy but it can be acceptable for uh, running Windows 10 on Android. And And here you can see it's showing the uh, how to play information and then simply click on the close and show you that the window uh, the game is uh, running very properly so that's all about in this video guys so you can just uh, use your smartphone to run windows 10 but you need a kvm kernel for your smartphone and i only found a kvm kernel for asus gen 2 and i will put down the link for the kvm kernel in the description so if you have asus gen 2 you can try this 
uh, Windows 10 on your Android phone. And if you have any other smartphone like uh, uh, my uh, any phone from the Samsung or from the Xiaomi or any other company, so you you cannot do this on your smartphone because your smartphone will not have a Intel processor. And in addition to that, your smartphone also uh, you will also not find the KVM kernel for your smartphone. And if you know the uh, programming and know the, how to uh, compile a kernel to uh, KVM so you can uh, use your knowledge to uh, comp uh, compile a uh, kernel for your smartphone for a KVM and if you succeed you can use this for your smartphone but still there you will not find a uh, Intel processor in your smartphone so it's very very uh, less chance for you to get this work on your smartphone so to do this to do this on your smartphone you will need a Asus Zenfone 2 so thanks guys for watching uh, let me shut down the Windows 10 let me close this game and uh, I will just shut down the Windows 10. So this is all about in this video guys. If you like please click on the like button and if you have any question any queries please comment down below. And one more thing guys please please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel.